friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis in this case i want to demonstrate the divide and conquer technique of fecal emulsification the patient is under topical anesthesia let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at mid limbus In this case, I am going to do only one side port and this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Beneath this air, tripon blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule and the staining becomes almost immediate as it a, as the dye is not diluted and sticks to the anterior capsule immediately and now the dye is washed out with BSS this is a 23G Simcoe and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% SPMC 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and then the SPMC is applied over the cornea and it improves visibility a lot and now capsulorexis is being done the anti capsule is torn and a capsular tag is raised by the iterator forceps and the capsular tag is moved anticlockwise in such a way that we get an adequate sized continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Yes, we have got an adequate sized axis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydro dissection, a 27 gauge cannula is used. Some visco is expressed out from the anterior chamber, and then small aliquots or BSS is injected just under the anterior capsular rim, lifting off the anterior capsular rim, and the nucleus is mobilized ahead as the nucleus rotates. And now visco is again injected. The SE is again filled up with visco. And now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece. Since in this case I have planned divide and conquer technique, I am going to expose uh, the FECO needle a little more than usual. the air bubbles are removed some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and in this case I'm going to make two trenches bisecting each other at around 90 degree so I'm going to make a plus sign and at this moment I am in sculpt mode where the setting is 60, 20, 60. 60% 60 ultrasonic power, 20 aspiration flow rate, and 60 millimeter of mercury vacuum. 60, 20, 60. This is the setting. At this time, when I am sculpting the nucleus to make two trenches, this is the first trench. The central part of the trench should be deeper than the peripheral part and I'm going up to the rexis margin not going beyond the rexis margin I'm going up to the rexis margin and I'm not making the trench wider than just one tip 
and this is another trench on the semi nucleus about 90 degree away from the initial trench this is the initial trench again now here this is another trench on the other hemi nucleus so that we can get a plus sign or the red cross sign here the sculpting should be good deep and uniform all around and now the fecco needle is applying force on the right side and the chopper is pulling the other fragment and in this way I have made four fragments and now I have gone to fecco 2 mode where the setting is 60, 45, 450 60% ultrasonic power 45 ml per minute is the aspiration flow rate and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury the beginners can use lower vacuum and lower flow rate to be on the safer side you can use pulse mode I am using continuous mode but I am cautious to apply ultrasonic energy only when it is required when something is occluding the TIFF only at that time I am applying ultrasonic energy now here I am have gone to IA mode and I am rem removing this cortex so in this case most of the cortex is already removed only little bit of cortex is there at around 12 o'clock so injecting visco to fill up the bag and the SE and now I have asked for the 23G Simco to remove the cortex here it is the cortex is removed there is no other cortex anywhere and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens the antechamber is filled up with visco antechamber as well as the capsular back is filled up with visco and now the main wound is enlarged little bit because I'm going to use a B cartridge so the main wound which was 2.8 millimeter has become about 3 millimeter now and here goes a monofocal single piece intraocular lens this is hydrophobic material with yellow tinge this is super foam from upper sami associates you can see that the optic is covered by a rim of anterior capsule so the size of the rexis is about 5.5 millimeter now the visco is clean this is irrigation and aspiration by the simco I, I go behind the eye wheel to irrigate the capsular bag come back to anterior chamber so most of the visco has come out we can conclude the case now but before concluding I want to clean visco more thoroughly so I have asked for the bimanual irrigation aspiration using the irrigation only irrigating the anterior chamber 
irrigating the bag again using irrigation and aspiration together for few seconds now the visco is nicely cleaned we must spend some quality time to remove the visco otherwise the patient may have visco induced raised intraocular pressure now the side ports and in this case I have hydrated the main wound also most of the time it is not required but since I used I stressed the wound for quite some time I didn't do direct chop in this case so I hydrated the main wound a little bit and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is nicely filled up with BSS and then the integrity of the wounds are checked with cotton dipped Johnson bard and then few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence.